Greetings and welcome back to my mini series on mobs and bosses. This is my pyromancer build. I'm not too sure whether I like it at this moment in time. It struggled with the dog and I had to go to melee. Uh, so I'm in two minds at the moment how it's going to go. But here we are. We're going to take on the cursed rotted great wood which can be found in the undead settlement now this great tree is an optional boss you've no need to kill him to go on to the next area but you do need to kill him for the kiln uh, of transpose or whatever it is its weaknesses is fire so that should be good as a pyromancer but we'll have to see I'm not sure how we're going to be able to target it I'll probably end up meleeing it and if I do end up meleeing it then there's no point doing these you might as well just watch my melee series but we'll see how it goes the object is to uh, take out its pus sacks which can be found in various places it's no good just hitting them anywhere you've got to target the pus sacks there is ads that's around him that's like worshipping him, praying to him. Uh, you can take them out, but they will just respawn back in. What my normal tactic is, uh, on my right hand side, looking at the screen, there's a red eyes. I'm going to take him out first and then go for the tree's left hand. There is uh, players that can be uh, summoned they're not NPCs they are normal players uh, but it's all about soloing I've moved my Estus flask to 5 now and lowered my uh, mana flasks just in case I do have to melee ok so this is red eyes by red eyes so there's one on his leg there for sack where I'm going for his hands if I press target he don't target it so I've got to melee not sure how a bloody pyromancer get away from me i do this unless I target in between the legs remember take your time there's no rush Especially on phase two. He's got it in for me, I'll tell you that. I might my technique here. No good attacking them up bats because they're covered by wood. And you can't get through them until phase two. When he drops these like stinky bombs. Just move out at road. Okay, that's his hand gone. Can I get his leg here? Yeah, that's his leg gone. Right, I'm going to go between his legs. Hold your breath, it smells in there. Actually, we're not, because he's about to swipe. In we go. Look at that. Let's take a few wheels. And back in I go. <clears throat> Not growing right well. Get away from me. Legs going up. Get in.
Come on. Right, there we go. Let's get a start. We could do a green right over the side if we can. But when he drops down, and then he took put us at back in him. You see? And then we go straight in at his back. We've got shut of the ads now. Oh, he's doing a splashing. Got to be careful here, because all me health pots has gone. Just keep running round him until you can get in at his back. Hands going up, watch out. Right, he's going to do a roll back. Get ready to get in soon as he comes back up. Look up a bit. You look up, you can usually hit him. What's he going to do now? Is he going to get up and do a... Do a... Uh, no, he's doing another roll back. Double roll back. Hmm. Usually he gets up and does uh, some poison crap. Okay, it's now time to uh, bait him to do belly flops. If we can. Here's one. Right, get any of those hand. Just like I do on my melee. If we can, do a bit of pyromancy. Trouble is, range is not that great. And you're uh, you're most dangerous when it's like this. Eee. No, I definitely don't like pyromancy. It's too dangerous for this tree. And it's so easy to do. Come on, stand up on your feet. No, he's doing another one of them. Stupid, I'll roll sideways and try it again. While you can't see with camera angle. Yeah, let's have another go. Oh, I actually got one. Right, here we go for and Checking aim off. He's going to do a belly flop. Stick his hand out. Don't kick him, hit him, you twit. Next time he does a belly flop, his ass. Try to do a bit more pyromancy. On turn. Yeah, I've got one hit in. Still leaves you close for damage though. See where I'm in. Very dangerous when it's easy to do it melee way. <laughs> oh, trying to gonna try finishing my pyromancy, but So crap range. Oh. Definitely dangerous pyromancy. Come on. Get up on your feet. Come on, stand up. Don't come for me, stand up. Do as you told, stand up. Oh. Look at that crap range. He's standing up now. Going to an early grave. Well, not an early grave, you not to allow me, to be honest, compared to what I normally do. And there you go. Transposing kiln is what you really kill this boss for.
then here's your vampire. So, after ports. Uh, I did it mainly melee, again. Pyromancy is... The trouble we eat is the fireball that I'm using. It ain't got enough range. And to go in on that type of boss is dangerous when it don't have to be dangerous the way I normally do it. The way I normally do it, you can solo it easily just by tickling it with your weapon all the time. Uh, anyway, I had an idea that I'd be meleeing this boss to be honest because I don't like range, but when I get more spells on Pyromancer, we'll have to see uh, see what it's like. In next area, there's a, a new Pyromancer tomb that I will be picking up, and we'll have to see what it fetches. Remember, it's the first time I've played a Pyromancer this, so I'm not an expert on it. And I should really make time to watch other people uh, do Pyromancer and see how they perform with it. In fact, I might do that. Anyway... I doubt you found anything useful, <laughs> but if you've watched the video and had a bit of fun, then please hit that like button for me, and I will catch you next time. Have a good day. Bye.